I want you guys to be able to do these things at home so you feel empowered, you feel like you are that girl, you don't have to spend too much money, you don't have to set an appointment, you can do everything yourself, you can feel like you just a daddy at home, okay, so let's get started. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. She's Sarah Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam if you are new. Okay, you're gonna love it here, I promise. Today we are doing a maintenance vlog. I will be getting into some skincare, some hair care, and then some lash extensions at home. Bougie on a budget. These are all things that are super easy to do. And that's what I like to focus on in my maintenance vlogs because I want you guys to be able to do these things at home so you feel empowered, you feel like you are that girl girl you don't have to spend too much money you don't have to set an appointment you can do everything yourself and you can feel at one piece you can feel like you just a daddy at home okay so let's get started if you allow the product from your hair to run down to your face while you're doing your skincare ma'am that is going to add to your acne my skin feels dry i have texture i woke up with this damn pimple in the middle of my eyebrows this morning i don't know what that's about but I'm trying out some new skincare today, so this video is like perfect timing. So let me show you guys the cleanser that I normally use. It's the CeraVe um, Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is my baby and she works well. However, I don't know what my skin is going through right now, but I feel like I need some extra oomph. I need something else, okay? Something, very much so something. Because this texture, is not cutting it also have a tan and i made sure to wear sunscreen every day while i was traveling but my nose has been peeling and it's really bumpy in this area like my t-zone and i want to get rid of that so i went to sephora and i picked up the lineage i hope that's how you pronounce it their water bank blue hyaluronic cleansing foam cleanser this is what the packaging looks like. Yes, I kept the bottle because if I don't like this shit, I'm taking it back. I don't play when it comes to my skin, okay? So if this, if this right here breaks me out or I don't like the way it feels, we're sending it back. So I think today what I'm going to do is double cleanse. So let me open this because it's brand new. I'm basically going to do like a first impressions with you guys. And then throughout the next couple of videos that I upload, I will keep you guys updated on if I really like this cleanser or not. Okay. All I know is that Laneige is a Korean line of skincare. And I know the Koreans, they their skin be crystal clear. It be giving glass. And that's what I am trying to achieve. Okay. It says it's a bouncing foam cleanser that gently and effectively cleanses skin, creating the perfect blank canvas for the rest of your skincare. And it is for normal dry combination and oily skin types. And if you have these skin concerns, it should help with dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. And I think that's why I picked it up because I definitely have uneven fucking texture okay so on my face and I also with this brush that I got from Sephora I'm not sure what it's called but it has like really soft bristles on the outside and then it has um what are these things called that don't pick up bacteria I'm blanking on the word right now I'll put it on the screen but those bristles are inside of the brush which is really really good because we do not want to have any bacteria building up. I'm not sure how much product I should use. But I'm going to start off with a little bit like this. Put it all in my hands. And then we are going to get in here. So first things first. It is scented. And it smells like blueberries. I don't like scented anything when it comes to my face. I don't. So right now I'm throwing off. So far this is feeling like more of a cream cleanser. Cause it's not necessarily foaming up, like it's not lathering up like body wash. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I didn't have enough water. So you definitely have to activate it with water and then it starts to foam up. Okay. Definitely close your eyes when you are using this brush, when you get around your eyes because 
it makes things pop all over and I definitely already got something in my eye before. So I am about to rest this off with my face. But um, first impressions, I'm liking it so far except for the smell. I really don't fuck with that. It smells great. It's just, it's, it's making my anxiety increase. The pressure is getting worse. Um, it kind of made my face feel a little dry afterwards. It feels really clean. I feel like I have that squeaky clean feel. But usually when I experience that squeaky clean feel, I also experience like a dry feeling. So I'm glad I am going to double cleanse today with my CeraVe cleanser because even though this has um peroxide in it, it still makes me feel really, really clean and moisturized at the same time yeah see and just to compare it this automatically feels way more moisturizing like it feels like i'm rubbing silk on my face i don't want to exfoliate my face too much so i'm not going to use the brush again but i am going to work this in with my fingers and then i'm gonna rinse that off oh okay yeah i definitely feel a difference like that dries my skin out i'm not sure if it's stripping the nastiness from my pores or what i will keep y'all updated so now we are going to jump into our serums and moisturizers and our toners toner comes first i've been using the innisfree i think that's how you pronounce it the balancing toner with the green tea i'm like more than halfway through the bottle the cooling sensation that the green tea provides that's all i need I do think it helped get rid of a little bit of the texture I had prior to my trip. So I do appreciate that. And I've definitely seen improvement in my skin's tone. It has balanced my skin tone. I used to have a lot of red marks throughout my cheeks. They weren't dark spots. It was not hyperpigmentation. It was redness. And I'm like, as a black girl, why the hell am I so red? I don't know why. Honestly, do not know why. But this has helped so freaking much. Moving on to serums. I'm going to use the salicylic acid from The Ordinary. I absolutely love this stuff. So be careful because I'm using the salicylic acid 2% anhedrous solution. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but as you can tell, it's in a brown bottle. Now, they also have a salicylic acid 2%. And it says solution, and this is white, and it's different, and I've never used this before. I wonder if I should, though. So, I like to just put a couple of drops of this on my face. Do not, I repeat, do not allow the dropper to touch your skin. Even though we just cleansed our skin, you probably think you did a great job. I'm not knocking you, sis. You probably did. But we all still have bacteria on our face at all times, good and bad, I believe. I think that's how the body works in general. I might be wrong. Yikes. But, um, yeah, you never want to touch your face and pick up bad bacteria and put it back into the bottle. And then it festers. And it grows inside the bottle and you continue to put that on your face day in and day out. That's disgusting. But okay. Let's see what this serum gives. This feels just like they're hyaluronic, but it's a little bit thinner. The um the first salicylic acid that I used is the thinnest of the serums, which is why I put it on first. I would like to layer my serums and my moisturizers from thinnest to thickest. And then I'm going to go in with the hyaluronic acid, 2%. This is a hydration support formula with ultra pore pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And once again, it doesn't tell you what it is. It just gives you the directions of how to use it. But now that those two serums have absorbed into my skin, now I'm going to go on with this one and this is the thickest out of the bunch i believe and you realize i'm adding multiple things on my skin and i don't experience any of that like white casty shit i don't like that all of these products like one another and i love that for me and i love how i came on here when my skin wasn't doing the best because I don't like when YouTubers do that. That's not realistic. People are actually going through a lot of issues with their skin and they want they want good, they want evidence that the shit is working. They want to see before and afters. 
I know y'all probably want to see the texture in this video and then come back on my channel when I post a new video and see how my skin has improved. So, boom, this is what the skin looks like after I applied all three serums. And now I'm going to go in with my SPF, which is by Innisfree. It's their daily UV defense sunscreen. It's a water-based sunscreen with sunflower seed oil. Um, and this is SPF 36. God damn, I didn't even, <laughs> I never realized that. It's nice and creamy. I think I definitely just spilled some. Disregard. I put a lot of this on in one capsule. And one thing that I have picked up from a girly on TikTok is that you should treat your neck and your hands as extensions of your face. I know y'all probably saw that picture of that lady who didn't use SPF on her neck, but she did it on her face or something like that. And her neck looked crazy, but she looked young in the face. I don't know. I ain't trying to be like that. So make sure you bring it down to your neck. And last but not least, a lot of people forget to moisturize this part of their face after they do their skincare. But baby, go ahead and go in with a lip oil. This is my favorite one ever ever it's from bath and body works it's their vanilla mint supreme lip oil it feels so soft on your lips it smells good but it's not like too minty overpowering and it's not sticky like a lip gloss it's just straight moisture so yeah that wraps up my skincare for my face we are now going on to hair okay i'm about to do an easy um natural style for my girlies who just want to keep things simple and cute this is also a tiktok um hairstyle that i've seen a lot of people do so let's move on to hair care so for my girlies who don't know right i experienced hella heat damage in the past year or two right <clears throat> my voice is going away one christmas eve i straightened my hair i did it for a video and i wanted to look cute for the holiday dinner and i fucked my hair up Specifically, mostly on the left side. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but back here, my left side is looking just like my right side. And I love that for me. I still have to fix this part of my hair. But basically, all of my hair on this side used to look stringy and straight like this. And I have managed to bounce my hair back with using my oil that I make myself. I can't wait to put y'all on. But let's talk about some hair tips while I do this style. In this bottle, it's just regular water. And I'm just gonna lightly spray the front area of my hair. So I'm not sure why, but it took me a really long time to realize my hair thrives the most when it is super duper moisturized. And without a doubt, that is the reason why my hair is doing so much better these days. I keep it moisturized and I moisturize my hair with thick heavy creams because that's what my hair likes the most and my hair also loves oil i've also been replacing gel with thick moisturizers gels don't necessarily break your hair off but they make your hair dry and when your hair is dry what is your hair more prone to do break something else that i haven't been knowing as much is detangling my hair y'all probably like whoa 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 what are you talking about okay when i say detangle i mean i haven't been using brushes to detangle my hair as often i have been using my god-given tools my hands and it helps so much if you finger detangle before you go in with a comb or a brush nine times out of ten you're going to experience less shedding um also detangling your hair on wet hair or heavily moisturized hair is just so much easier like that's why detanglers like serums or oils or sprays detangling products that's why they exist all right so now that i got my three sections i'm just going to put this in a loose bun i'm gonna be using shea moisture y'all and i wasn't messing with shea moisture for a really long time i wasn't using these products for a really long time the only reason why i'm using them today is because like i said i refuse to use gel for styles like this because I, I noticed how much they dry my hair out. But um, I hated the way this curling gel souffle, I hate the way it is. It's not a smooth gel. Why does it look like this? But I spent my money on it and I said I was gonna use it up before it like expires. And then what I do love from Shea Moisture is the curling enhancing smoothie. 
So I've been using a combination of these. And in terms of thick butters, I've also been using the Carol Daughters um, Margaret's Magic. It's a restorative cream. And I've also been using the Healthy Hair Butter because these are super thick. They mold my hair just like a gel, but they're better for my hair. Something that I have been doing really recently is going to sleep with absolutely nothing in my hair. You probably like, what do you mean? Literally nothing in my hair, girl. Not even a hair tie. I got this bonnet from Target and it is one of the only bonnets that stays on my head. As you can tell, it's a super thick band and it doesn't move while I sleep. And I love that for me because usually all my other bonnets just be flying the fuck off. Yeah, this one don't really do that. And I love it because I'm able to go to sleep with nothing under that bonnet but my hair. And I don't got to worry about it sliding off throughout the night. See, this is why I hate this product. This is exactly why I hate this product. Y'all, I tried to put it in the microwave, <laughs> thinking that the heat will make it, like, smooth. It didn't work. But anyways, like I was saying, when I'm asleep, I don't want to feel anything pulling on my hair. Like, I never thought smoothing my hair without gel would be this easy to do, but I'm really getting a very smooth can babe, and I love that for me. I don't know doing my hair in this thick-ass robe right now. I'm really going to be sweating, especially after putting all them serums on my face. Like, this is not... This is not for the week. And now it's time to get your claw clips. So basically, what you're going to do is take that section that you have in the back, and we are going to twist her around and pull her up. So you have something that's looking like this. And then you're going to attach your claw clip. And boom, there you have it. Favorite edge control is the edge booster. Boom, okay you guys, this is the final look of the hair. My battery is about to die, but I'm feeling it. I hope y'all feeling it too. When I come back, we are gonna get into lashes, okay? love it now we're gonna get into my lashes i ain't gonna have to you um i got my lashes up in costa rica professionally and i was slaying came home wanted to take them off because i missed my bare face but immediately i thought i looked like a neck and little rat i don't know what it is i guess i had them on for too long because i went like i went to costa rica for like a whole week and then i came home and i was like girl what the fuck it was accommodation of my tan and my bald ass that made me just look like I did I didn't know who the fuck I was like so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in this video was not sponsored by nobody so let's not do too much about what products I'm using I don't have no discount code to y'all I'm sorry the lashes I'm using are from VS. Then I'm using the IMV Long Lasting Jet Black Glue. I don't want to focus for the people. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is my favorite glue ever. The set my lash tech did, it was real wispy because she gave me spikes. I don't want that. I just want a classic. I want to do a really short set, but the shortest length I have for the self fanning lashes is 15 mm. So, I, I have a thousand and one lash videos on my channel. This is not going to be detailed and in-depth. If you want to see one of those, you can go look on my channel. Just search my name and put lash extensions. But I'm just going to pull off my first clump. And I'm going to be creating fans. I don't know if you can see it. You're supposed to separate, you know, and do them individually. But y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna run through this set. To be honest with you. Usually I start on the outer corner. But I'm finna start on the inner corner today. I don't know why. I just wanna be different, I guess. Who knows? And y'all took my lashes off in front of my boyfriend. I turned around. I just know I scared him. He was probably like, oh, whoop, jump scare. <laughs> He was probably like, bro, what happened to you? You look different from what you just looked like two minutes ago. Also, if you don't want to do this tedious ass test, because yes, it does take a long time, I recommend you cutting up some falsies and then put on them on that way. Using the same methods, like dipping it in lash extension glue, 
but just using bigger chunks if you want to do this quick easy and at home and you don't want to be here all day like i'm about to be because this stuff takes a long time and i'm hungry so we love that and the Tootsie concert on what are you doing but anyways I just finished my lashes it only took me probably like 45 minutes to do this set because for one I was just flying through it two I made them real sparse filming I usually my um lashes be way thicker than this were y'all crooked the whole time yikes anyways um and I only used one length. Usually I go shorter in the inner corners, but I just went lighter in the inner corners, like full sparse or whatever. But this is the final product. They look so cute. I gotta brush them up. I gotta go find me a spoolie. But that really wraps up this video, you guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed this quick maintenance vlog at home where I showed you my up-to-date skincare routine, a cute little natural hairstyle to make you just feel nice and put together, and a quick individual eyelash extensions and stuff. So make sure you like the video. Keep up with me because I'm putting content out non-stop. Um, make sure you turn on your push notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye mamas. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah.